guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jesse here. Uh, today we are at Sasmat Lake. Hi. We got the whole family here. Hi. It's uh, it's raining, and so um, we're, we've got the paddleboard here. We got the stand-up paddleboard, which I'm just about to uh, set up here. And actually, we were going to go to Bunsen, but they they've closed off the lake right now, so I couldn't even go on there. So this is kind of an audible. And uh, we'll try some fishing here. I've never actually fished here before, so uh, give it a go, and we'll do some trout stand-up paddleboard trout fishing. All right, here we go. Okay, here's the setup. We've got two rods. The bag has some bait in it. I'm gonna put that on my back. Got a life jacket, and so I'm gonna have this camera here that I'm obviously holding here. I'm gonna stationary it right on the front there. I'll put it like maybe under a, I'll strap it into the straps there so you can kind of get like a water level view. And then I'll put this guy on my on my chest. And who's this? Levi. Oh, hey Levi. All right, the water's coming down here. This might be a perfect time to get in there. All right, maiden voyage. Bye, Daddy. All right, here we go. Daddy, bye. See you guys. I'm gonna just work wherever I see some logs going in the water. Places that are not easily accessible by by the shore. So I'm gonna see if I try to hit those logs right there. Start right there. See those trees right there. The logs coming out. That would, that's good structure. That's usually where trout you want to look for those type of places. Although you want to go where it's not going to get a lot of pressure from people from the shore or maybe dogs jumping in the water. It's right in there. Look at those logs there. Seems like a good spot. I think I see some fish surfacing there. There is fish surfacing. I see some fish surfacing off the off the water there. I think those are fish. Yeah, there are. Right in the center. Oh my gosh. I see a rainbow right in the middle. This is it. They're not even deep. I'm going right in the center of the lake. This is good to see. All right, let's try right here. Not that, not that deep. We're gonna use big long worm. Need like an anchor to drop, drop, to hold myself in spot. That's what you need on these paddle boards. If you want to fish on a lake like here, when it's windy like that, whew, 
Gotta come when it's nice and calm. The wind is not your friend on this thing, I'll tell you. Not your friend. Any luck? Yeah, go right on. Hey there, buddies. How's it going? See any fish? No? Yeah, me neither. Well, let me tell you, stuff is hard. It's hard to it's hard to fish on here when you're continually moving with the wind, like I was saying earlier. But uh, it is really fun, though. I gotta say, this is pretty relaxing. But I think I see everyone is trolling flies on top of the water. Those are the only guys who are catching here. So they've got like a little electric motors and uh, like a boat or some sort of like kayak or something like that, and they're. They're just dragging a fly behind there. And those are the only ones that I've seen catch. So I saw one fish caught over there and one over here. So it seems like they're on both sides of the water, so sides of the lake, but it seems like trolling is a strategy and we did not bring flies. I wasn't thinking that, but I was thinking I could drop a uh, little spoon or a spinner behind. So I do have that. So maybe I'll do that on the way back. Um, we're just out here for like just a short, uh, not a long period of time. So I'm gonna start heading home. We're heading back to the beach, meet up with the family but I will troll a spoon along the coast and see what we what we get. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky. I don't even know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I've never, this is my first time on this lake, but it just seems like the, the trout are just kind of moving around and the timing of, like it's just mid-afternoon, it's not the greatest time. It, you know, maybe at end of the day, last light and morning would probably be great. I think it would be really good fishing. It would be calmer and you know, they may, might be more active on the bite, especially for some of the stuff I'm throwing. But right now it's 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 kind of windy and so it's kind of hard to stay still and actually fish a bobber. So I uh, I'm not getting it here. There's not there's no points for me today. Anyway, but I'm having a good time. So all right, let's start trolling. Set up the trolling setup. All right, here we go. Let's try the trolling thing here. So this I'll do like this. This is probably too big for this lake, but that's all I got. So put a weight on it, see if we can get it down. These fish look pretty small, so you need the fly makes more sense to me. But uh, we'll give it a go anyway. Who knows, maybe they got some big ones in here that'll crush this thing. That could be awesome. How awesome would that be? Crush a big Sasmat Lake Rainbow. Usually I would use this one of these guys, I like this inline, but I don't, I'm not going to take the time to set that all up right now. So I'm just going to grab a big split shot. This is the new setup. It's, I think it is a little bit big for this lake, for these fish, but I'm going to troll. I got the long leader line. It's probably three and a half foot, maybe four feet. I got to wait to weigh it down. I'm just going to troll this behind here. We'll try that. We'll see how that works. There we go. See, it's the rod is out enough so I can I can paddle, but yet it still has a bit of a bend to give it that length that that space that I need for the the paddle to come back. There, that's perfect. Love that. If you're ever gonna troll, I think that's pretty much the setup you'd have to do, unless you had some sort of setup like a maybe like a milk carton or a box or something, and put a little rod where it's sticking up. It's that's trolling off the back. That's I mean that would make even more sense, but hey You do what you can here, right? Daddy! How's it going? Did Zach just make a video? Oh, I made a video. Did you see any animals? 
Did you see the Mosasaurus? I saw the Mosasaurus. He tried to bite me. I got him. Don't worry. I shot him with my gun. He's dead now. That's it. You guys having fun at the beach? Is it a little cold? You guys are in your... Thankfully, we have backup clothes. Hey, Levi, are you guys having fun in the water? Yeah. You guys ready for summer? Yeah. I think it's already in summer. You think it's already summer? <laughs> All right. So, as you can see, there was no fish. Um, the, the time of the day obviously wasn't ideal. In the middle of the day. But I could see coming here in the morning or in the evening and maybe tossing the same sort of thing that I was doing could work here and there. So yeah, the Santa paddleboard fishing was, was actually pretty tough. It was... What are you guys doing? <laughs> so the stand up paddleboard fishing was, was pretty tough actually. I don't know, have you guys ever done anything like that before? Uh, definitely need to have like some sort of anchoring system where on a calm day that would be a lot easier. But um, I would love to hear your tips on stand up paddleboard and fishing. It's something I want to do some more of, maybe on the ocean, maybe drop a crab trap as well. Uh, but let me know if you guys like this, this type of content, drop me a comment down below and say, yeah, we like this or uh, like what you'd like to see next on a paddleboard maybe. I'd love to hear some suggestions. So. Uh, I'm just kind of just scratching the surface here, so I, what do I know? Uh, anyway, this was, uh, was just a fun afternoon with the family here at Sassmas Lake here in, uh, just outside of Port Moody. It's beautiful here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.